Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, so today what I'd like to talk about is what is the Apache 2.ht access file? Okay, so I've got some notes here, like usual, and let me go ahead and highlight this. So it says, the HT access file is a configuration file used by the Apache web server to manage settings on a per directory basis. It allows you to override the global settings without modifying the main server configuration. This is my .ht access file I use, and I use it because I want to do mod rewrite. And by the way, there's a, a, a link to an article that's on my website. The link will be in the description below. Uh, and it's a companion. So you want to watch the video and you want to read the article. So here's my .ht access file right here that I use. I'll explain it. So here's, here's what's going on. Now this is in the root directory, and the reason I do that is because I want it to apply to all files and uh, directories within my uh, virtual host. So it's in the root directory. So here we go. If module mod underscore rewrite dot C, that says basically is the mod rewrite module uh, installed and is it uh, enabled? Okay, so we want to make rewrite engine on. Rewrite base is root. That's the forward slash, which means root. And then we want to remove the index file from the URL. Now, the reason I do this is I'm doing uh, model view controller, and we don't want the index file. If you look at a website that's built in WordPress, you'll notice that there's no index.php either because they use something very similar to what I'm doing right here. So, okay, so here's what it says. Rewrite condition, uh, far right to go over to the right, and you'll see the, the bang, which is not, and then a hyphen F. If it's not a file, if the file is not on the server, the name that we're searching for is not on the server as a file, then we jump to the next rule, which says, if it's not a directory, see that? It's not a directory. Then the rewrite rule is we're going to give all the, the information or the string that's to the right of the domain, that whole string in your browser, it's going to uh, give that to whatever is running. And in our case, it's PHP. So let's go through and look at what we have to do to configure this. Okay, so uh, we're going to activate the mod rewrite module, which is this right here. I'm going to do this. It's going to say it's already installed, but I'm going to do it. And so there we go. Sudo means become the sudo user, the super user. Uh, A to enable mod uh, rewrite. So if I hit enter, what's going to happen is it's going to tell me, oh, it's going to ask for my password. Then it's going to say it's already enabled. Okay, so because I've been on the server messing with it already. So the next thing we want to do is we want to configure Apache to, over, to allow overwrites. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the code is that, that is set up here. Okay, so uh, I didn't copy that right. Let me try it again. Okay, sudo, become the super user. Vi is my editor of choice. And we're going to give a path, forward slash etc, forward slash Apache 2, forward slash sites, hyphen available, forward slash, and the file name is 000 hyphen default dot config. Now what the default one is, this is the virtual host that was installed by Apache, but it's incomplete. It does some things that Apache needs it to do, and it's only been configured to do those things, but I completely built it out already. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so this is the uh, what we're talking about right here. The mod rewrite code is right there. 
it says in the directory forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html which is the root of the default virtual host and uh, there's some other lines of code that I'm not going to go through there but it basically says to uh, set this up and configure for a mod rewrite okay so let's get out of here and then we're going to go to create or edit an ht access file okay so i'm going to change directories okay we're going to change directory to uh forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html and i'm going to hit enter and we're in that directory let's see what's in there v d i r boom okay so there's an index file in there and then oh it doesn't say okay so let's do the v dear and a hyphen and an a for all now we're going to see the dot ht access file it's right there okay so now we're going to copy this code over right here And it says sudo become the super user by my editor of choice dot ht access. Now let me explain this a little bit more. What happens is if, if there's an ht access file, it will open it up and you'll be able to look at what the contents is. If there is not, this will create this one line right here will create that file. Now the file already exists because I've been in here. Okay, ht access that we just went over a couple minutes ago so it's it's in the root okay so we're gonna uh hit a colon and a q for quit lower left hand corner to get out of buy now we want to restart apache so any changes can take effect now if we had changed anything we would need to run this this command now i'm going to run it just for the fun of it so it says sudo System CTL restart Apache 2. Now you need to do that anytime you make a, uh, a, a change to your, any of your configuration files. So enter. It has to do with Apache. Okay, so it, it restarted it. Didn't tell us much. So there's an eight. Okay, so remember I told you that we want to get rid of the, the index.php and we want to take anything right of the domain and deliver that string to whatever application is running this. Now, in my case, it'll be PHP. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so this is sudo become super user by my editor of choice, index.php, and I hit enter. And here's what we're gonna, I'm gonna show you right here. So, and I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So basically, I'm echoing out dollar sign underscore server, and then it's got request URI in there, and that tells uh, PHP that we want to grab that string I was talking about that's right of the domain name. Okay, so I'm going to close this, so I'm going to hit the colon and quit because there's nothing to write bam okay so let's go to the browser which i don't have a browser open and i am going to copy this right here because i'm going to put this in the browser okay so let's put this in the browser let's get a browser going go to firefox there it is gonna take a second to get going okay let's paste that in there and it's default internal if you've been following my videos you'll understand what default internal is forward slash controller forward slash action forward slash argument one and forward slash argument two let's see what happens when we hit enter okay now remember i said it's right to the domain so in this case default internal is a domain name it's an unroutable or non-routable domain name used on my private network it's not accessible by the internet 
And so we're just going to get that string right there. So let me hit enter. Okay. It says default.internal. That's that web server that I was telling you about, the default one that's set up by Apache, and I've, I've completed it. And so it's ready to be an actual virtual host. So what it did is it returned controller hyphen action hyphen arg1 hyphen arg2. And that's what I use in my model view controller application. And so we'll, you'll, know, you'll know and understand more about that once we get to that point. But it worked as we expected it to, so we've had success. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment. And subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link. And you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.